Do you want to have Samsung nodes on your own Linux distribution? For example, Ubuntu, Fedora, Linux Mint, Debian, or whatever you're using. Well, today I'm going to show you how to get this installed on your system. Not completely native, but we can most certainly use a beautiful virtual machine that is very fast and you can easily use Samsung nodes within minutes, not even. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is actually get a Windows 10 ISO because when this is downloading, we can already start with the next step. So let's go to Firefox or whatever browser you're using or just go to the link in the description because I have it down there for you. Make sure you go to google.com and afterwards search for Windows 10 ISO. Well, there are some websites, for example, Internet Archive, where you can directly download it without any problems. But actually, on our website, I have a very easy link. You just have to type diphonus.ml slash my USB. After typing this, you will go to our website. The link is also in the description. You will find this page. Afterwards, just click on Google Drive folder. And now you will see all the files I have on my USB and I'm personally using. So right here we have Windows. Let's double click on it and afterwards just select which one you want. For example, Windows 10 ISO. Just right click on it and then click on download. There's the possibility it might ask you if you want to download it because it can't scan for viruses. Just click on download anyways. I'm very sorry this is all a little bit Dutch, but that's because I'm using a virtual machine and it's using my own Wi-Fi for the language. But when it's downloading, let's get to the next step. The next one is also in the description. It is called Virtual Box, and this is by Oracle. So Oracle Virtual Box, let's click on the website and then go to download right above. After doing this, we have multiple options. Let's click on Linux distributions. A distribution is actually what kind of Linux you have. So if we scroll down, then you will see all of these options. For Linux itself, I have Ubuntu right now, but Ubuntu and Debian is pretty much the same. So you can choose one of these. It's the same distribution right here. We have Fedora and here are all distributions. So let's click on that one if you have that option. So if you have a different distribution, you can click on this. But for now, we're just going to click on Ubuntu and then the latest version, which is this one right here. I'm just going to click on it and then you can see it downloading. My Windows is also already finished. This time I'm not wasting your time. Let's click on the depth file so I can actually open it. And after doing that, I will go to this store. In this store, I can just click on install and then I'm sure I want to install VirtualBox. I'm sorry this is bugging, but just enter your own password and then we can install it. But it's also an alternative if you just go to your file manager, this one, and we right click on the folder, we open it in terminal and I enter sudo apt install. This makes sure that we can install an application on this Ubuntu. And then right here, I just want to select the file itself. It was called something like VirtualBox. Just click on tab and then you can see right here. So now just enter the password and it should be installing. But this one has broken packages. So it is depending on these packages. So always make sure you have your updates and upgrade them all to max. Because if you don't do this, it's a possibility the application won't install. Afterwards, if you open VirtualBox and it's working, you can actually add a new virtual machine. I've already created this one because I have shown you how to install the Windows 10 itself on our macOS tutorial. So make sure you check that one out first because there I spent at least 40 to 50 minutes installing Windows itself. But right here, I'm going to show you how to create a virtual machine. Just click here on new. After doing that, you have to name this virtual machine. So we can actually call it Windows 10 or something like Samsung Nodes, whatever you prefer. I'm just going to keep it to Windows 10 because right there we can easily install Samsung Nodes. Right here on the ISO image, we're going to select other. And after we have selected that in your downloads folder, make sure you select Windows 10 ISO. And afterwards, if you open that, it will select it here. Right here, it says Windows 10. And if you can, click on skip unattend installation. And if you can't, it doesn't matter. But here, this is quite important for performance and all. Here on hardware, I do recommend you get at least like 
four gigabytes of RAM to your system and at least two to four cores. This makes sure that it's a lot faster when using Samsung Notes. If you want to draw or something, it can be quite better with performance. Let's click here on finish. After doing that, you have selected Windows 10 itself. You have created it. So if you have selected it right here, just click on start. And after you're doing that, it's going to power up this virtual machine. And the steps are all the same for Windows, Mac OS and Windows. I mean, Windows itself already supports Samsung Notes. And this is the reason why I'm showing you in this video how to get a virtual machine with Windows. Because now officially Samsung Notes is supported on Windows. So it should be opening up something like this. Let me just close it. And if anyone says in the comments like, yeah, but you have the Windows UI below, it's because I'm running a Ubuntu virtual machine and you can't really run a virtual machine inside one. So I'm showing you right here exactly the same steps. Right here, we actually have to install Windows. I can just double click on it, make it a little bigger. And the only thing you have to do is to click here on next, then go to install and pretty much follow all of these steps. Just click on, I don't have a product key, then select Windows 10 home. Let's go to next right here. Click on accept terms and then go to next. And then we're going to click on custom and then we want to allocate some space. So right here, we click on new, we apply some space. We click on yes. And right here, what I'm going to do is click on next again. Right now, it's going to install Windows and afterwards restart it, which you can all see in the macOS video, how to get Samsung Notes on macOS. Because right there, I've actually shown you how to do it. And I, even though you don't have a macOS, that doesn't matter. I have shown it there and this really takes me 15 minutes to install. When it actually asks you for your Microsoft account, what you can do to skip that is very easy. Left above, we have machine. Let's click on it and then go to settings. If it asks for Microsoft account, you can actually choose for a local account by turning off the Wi-Fi. Right here, we have the system itself. Just go to network. And right here, just click on cable connected and deselect the checkbox. Click on OK. And now it doesn't have any Wi-Fi. Then just click on the return button. And after you do that, it will not ask you for a Microsoft account anymore. Just log in with a name. You don't have to enter password. You could just press on enter and it will work. You can see all of this in the macOS video. Do the same steps again. Settings. Then go to network and enable cable connect again. So I actually have some Wi-Fi on Windows 10 so we can actually install Samsung Notes. That's the next step. Let's go to that one. Before we continue, please make sure you subscribe so you can actually hit 10,000 subscribers at the end of this year, 2026. I'm sure we can do it. But thank you so much. Let's get going with Samsung Notes on Linux. So right now, after you've started it up, you would see Windows 10 and you can log in like normally. So right here, I have my account Milan. This has all been set up in the macOS video. I know I repeat it a lot, but it's quite important because otherwise you can't install Windows 10. It will be completely fine. You can just comment down below. I'll directly help you with everything. So right here, we have a fresh Windows 10 inside of your Linux and it wasn't quite that difficult. Right here, the only thing we have to do now is actually get Samsung Notes. So let's click on the start bar and then type for store. So let's click on store, Microsoft store, so I can actually open it. There's a possibility it asks you to update the Microsoft store itself. Just click on that, let it run and get back when it starts up like this. Normally with a new icon and everything. After it does that, you have this bar above the search bar and we can actually click on it. Samsung notes will enter right here. And after doing that, it's completely free and you can get it right here. Just click on get and then it's going to install for you. You can see right here that this is made by the official Samsung Electronics Corporation, which means you can fully trust it. And you can do anything you want right here and it fully works. You don't have to install anything else. So when you log in with your Samsung account, you can actually synchronize everything from the cloud to your PC. If that doesn't work, go to your phone, enable Samsung Cloud, and then you will see it also on your PC. So while you're waiting, make sure you subscribe to this channel. It will actually mean a lot. It's around 400 megabytes, but when it's installed, you can easily open it right here. Just click on open and then it will start up Samsung Notes and it's directly working inside of your Linux. Right here, it actually says that Samsung only supports Galaxy Books, but you can just click on OK because they're enabling it now so you can use it every single time. 
right here just log in click on sign in enter your own Thumbstar account and it should work but some people actually experience problems for example if you click on sign in it doesn't work well this is because you do need a Samsung account so right here let's actually go to the Microsoft Store and type account right here we have Samsung account and we also have to install this application so it can actually work the gateway of Samsung Explorer which you can do with a Samsung account so right here let's click on yes enable that if you log in here first it should work with Samsung notes otherwise go to skip they actually skip logging in and then left below we can actually sign in with Samsung clouds so yes let it run in the background quite important so let's first install Samsung account it should actually work do note this is not officially supported by Samsung themselves they have added some support but this is officially only supported on Galaxy books but it should actually work I've made a million videos about Samsung notes on other devices you can also check them out if you have Windows Android uh, you can actually also get them on there do note android doesn't really support it because it doesn't have the latest version and cloud syncing is not possible sadly you can only create new notes and not import any new ones so let's actually first close samsung notes itself but what we can also do is pin it down below here if you right click on it we can easily pin it to the taskbar and then we can easily close it by doing it again and then you have a quick access to your Samsung notes when you start up this virtual machine so if you have installed Samsung accounts you just have to open it right here and then we just click on sign in after you do this let's allow it in the background and right here just log in with your Samsung account afterwards start up Samsung notes and then it should work completely fine so congratulations you have Samsung notes inside of your Linux you only have to click away this pop-up that's all and it works fully with all functions and so thank you so much for watching make sure you share this with everyone so can actually they can also install Samsung notes on their Linux Mac OS Windows and also Android it's all on the channel just share it with them it will be very grateful for us and make sure you subscribe to the channel so can actually hit that does subscribe at the end of this year and I know we can do it so thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one goodbye